Morning guys, today we're going to take a look at pages 5 and 6 of the Unit 8 Classroom Pack. Uh, in this video, we're actually going to take a look at some problems for both interior angles and exterior angles of polygons. And these are what I call the medium examples, alright? Because there's not a terribly large amount of algebra, but in some cases you may have to back solve for a variable as opposed to just plugging in for the value of n. Okay, so let me show what I mean by that. Uh, we're going to start off, guys, by taking a look at... Do, 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 do. We're going to take a look at page 5, example number 6. Okay? Number 6. Alright. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 1,620. How many sides does the polygon have? Okay, first things first. Are we dealing with interior or exterior? In the problem, they clearly say interior, right? Now, the question is, which formula do I need? n minus 2 times 180 or n minus 2 times 180 over n? Do they use the word regular? Nope. So the formula is going to be this. n minus 2 times 180. Now, I've got a problem, though. Did they give me n? Did they give me the number of sides? <laughs> no, they did not. Instead, they actually gave me the result, like what I would get once I do this theorem, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going gonna to set this whole thing equal to 1,620. From here, it's an Algebra 1 problem. Which method would you prefer to solve it? Would you prefer to use the distributive property on the left-hand side, or would you prefer to use the division property by dividing both sides through by 180? Personally, I don't care which one you do. It's actually a matter of personal preference, okay? So, just because I think many of you guys like the distributive property, let's do that. Okay. From there, I would add 360 to both sides. So I get 180n equals, let me see. Even I have to show my work sometimes. <laughs> um, 1,980 divide those sides by 180. Now I want to make sure you guys see some old tricks from elementary school. Do you guys remember how if there was a zero and a zero, I could kind of cross them out, right? And then that makes the division much easier to do by hand. 18 goes into 19 once, subtract 18, remainder 1, bring down the 8. So in this case, it's actually a very simple problem. n equals 11. All right. So for example number 6, we would simply say that the polygon has 11 sides, which we could call a 11 gon, or if you want the true name for it, it's actually a hen decagon. Don't ask me where they come up with these names. I don't even know. All right. Okay, for another uh for another kind of like medium level example, let's take a look at number 11. Okay? Let's take a look at number 11. This is actually on the next page, which I believe is page doo -doo 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 -doo, page six. All right. Okay. If the interior angle of a regular polygon measures 108, how many sides does the polygon have? Uh, okay. So let's first evaluate interior, exterior. They use the word interior. Okay. Which theorem do I need? M minus two times 180 or M minus two times 180 over N? Hmm, did they use the keyword regular? Yes, they did. So because they use the keyword regular, that clues me in to the fact that I need this formula right here. All right. Now, did they give me the number of sides? Do you see like five sides, six sides, seven sides? <laughs> they did not. So what that means is we're actually given the answer to this. We're actually given the result, 108. All right. Now the question here becomes, how exactly do I solve this? Okay, so let's go through the algebra together. To get rid of a divided n, I actually multiply both sides through by n. So what that does for me is it gives me this. n minus 2 times 180 equals 108n. Now, obviously, the distributive property would apply once again on the left-hand side. I've already got all my numbers here, so technically speaking, I should subtract 180n from both sides. I know that's going to be a little bit weird for some of you guys, especially if you're not too good with your negatives, but just hold that thought for a second, okay? How do I get rid of a multiplied negative 72? I would divide both sides through 
by negative 72, and believe it or not, this is going to be positive 5. So, all of that hot mess was just to show us that a regular pentagon besides 5 would be what I would have here, all right? In other words, a regular pentagon has an interior angle that measures 108 degrees. Okay, so those again are what I call medium level problems. They're medium because I'm not just plugging in for n, instead I am back solving to find n. All right, so they give me the result and I have to use some algebra to actually solve for n. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some pseudo advanced problems where there's a little bit more algebra to it. You're actually going to have to combine like terms, solve for x, and potentially plug back in.